my name is Dexter on my console and today we look at how you can actually process the leave for the new year as well as how can you carry forward a certain number of days per employee. So most of the time employees will always allow employees to carry forward annual leave. So to do this we need to come here, leave, come here to maintain leave type. Alright, and most of the time the leave that you can carry forward is usually your annual leave. So you can come in here, you press edit and make sure we tick this one called brought forward all right so tick this and press save okay so the second step that you need to make sure is always how many days can an employee bring forward for the next year so this can be managed in the leave group so you come here to leave come here to leave group all right so let's say this one you press edit and then from here we have one called bf that is actually your brought forward so for annual leave, we come here, we press the three dots here, and here you can say how many days you can actually brought forward. All right. So let's say we want to put this as three days. We press OK, and we press save. All right. So now we have already prepared how many days an employee can bring forward. So for new employees to take leave for the current year, you need to actually run a leave entitlement processor. So the leave entitlement processor will calculate how many days an employee will get for that whole year. So to do this, you come here to leave. Come here to leave entitlement processor. All right, so let's say we're doing for 2023. Process. All right, so if this is your first time opening it, then you can actually use the override function. All right, so but if you have already entered here, and you have already made some form of changes and you don't want to do it over again, we press the open function, okay? So if you want to press open, let's say we press open, the system will show me what we have done previously, okay? So the system will calculate for me, okay, how many brought forward leave? So everyone has three days brought forward. Uh, this one got five days and then this one got three days and 14 days. So at some time, at certain points, there will be certain decimal points, so at 14.2 example. Alright, so but 14.2 is very hard for you to give an employee 0.2 days. So normally we either round up or round down. So as a user, we can always change the number to a rounded number of 14.5 days. So it, once you change, make sure you press save or not, the system will then uh, not save that changes that you have made. Alright, save this. Okay, so this is actually how easy it is to manage your leave in SQL Payroll. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. Thanks.